What's going on guys? I was asked the other day how to reduce your weight overall. As a SEAL, I was about 160 pounds soaking wet. The lightest I ever was in a three-day bag was 102 pounds. That's not counting all of our first, second, and third line gear. It weighed more than I did. Now imagine humping in the middle of the night, trying to be quiet 10 to 15 miles up and down hills, being on a timeline doing that. So it's important that you minimize your weight and the uh, overall capacity of your gear as much as possible. We would go so far as to cutting the tags out of our clothing. And we live by a saying, ounces equal pounds. And I'm gonna show you what I mean, all right? So all you really need is a little bit of duct tape and a cutting utensil. I've opened some of these up just to get an idea how far they've came throughout the years. And I will tell you, I don't know if I'm too impressed with it. The first thing I noticed is, and this particular MRE, the uh, Tabasco sauce and jalapeno cheese is missing. And that's not to say that was really good, <laughs> but it was a lot better than some of the foods and it also made some of the meals edible. So we're gonna get rid of anything we don't need, cardboard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick everything in here for now. Oatmeal cookies. All right. Definitely a good tool to take out in the field. All right. They're good. And we can also use these as a trading tool if we run out of baby wipes or you forget your baby wipes, which actually happens. Okay. Guys will cut their sleeves off their shirts just so you can use the restroom. All right, the powder that comes in the MREs, I won't tell you yay or nay. It says it has electrolytes and vitamin C added. Back in the day, they wouldn't let us carry this out in the field because it dehydrated you. So science said, all right, but sesame seed uh, sticks, little bread sticks, I believe. You put that in the main meal and you've got your crackers. Imagine cutting a piece of that cardboard box off from this bottle of water and chewing on it. That's about what those crackers uh, taste like, but they're filling, all right? So your heater, me personally, um, I don't carry these out in the field, all right, for two reasons, ounces equals pounds, and I've gotta use water to heat it up, all right, which means I gotta take more water out in the field. And you're only talking, you know, half a bottle, you know, 10 ounces of water for six mils, but that's a lot of weight, believe it or not, when you're humping. So unless it's a really cold weather environment, these don't go with me. All right. I'll tell you what, if I, there are some meals out there, such as uh, uh, jambalaya, that I will take these out there. I just like that particular one heated up, just personal preference. Anything you're not going to use, so I'm just going to leave this up here for now. Now you might take this out in the field. Again, if you run out of baby wipes, you're going to tear a corner off, run your finger in it, and clean the old pooper. All right, towelette. I don't need a towelette because I've got baby wipes out in the field. Coffee and creamer, I have no need for those. I carry frog fuel in my bag for energy. They work really good. And the great thing about those is it only takes roughly an ounce of water to digest. So it's very clean and just a raw protein and energy. All right, cane sugar, definitely. I would recommend stay away from that. All right, it's one thing to have oatmeal cookies. It's got enough sugar in it, but the more sugar we have, the more issues that it could cause us to have under those circumstances, all right? Under that stress. Crushed red pepper, not my style. Smarties, definitely take out in the field. And let me set that aside for a minute. Once you figure out what you're gonna take out in the field, take your spoon, cut it in half. If you look at your main mill, they have some notches, two sets, all right? 
It's designed to eat vertically. So you tear one off, start eating. As the food decreases, you can tear another one off. What I like to do is turn it horizontally, cut a little nick in it, and you tear it across, and you can spread it open. Mix whatever you want to in here. And if you look, that spoon is about perfect to where you're going to get very little to no food on your hands, okay? So first, what we want to do is roughly about this first crease, or the first set of notches, fold it over, put it in, and we're just going to pack everything in here as nice and neat as possible. All right, we're not trying to get an award for packing. We've got other stuff to do. But at the same time, we want to save space as well as weight. Okay. Get a feel for wherever the food ends, and we're going to cut even more off. Okay. Definitely not leaving. Again, on this tape, I've created a little tab. It's not to say you can't take a knife and cut it, but now we've got a nice little tab. All right, so this is where we ended. This is where we started. So not only have we reduced the weight, we've actually reduced the overall size, okay? About 40%, maybe 50%. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to use the bowl. I'm going to take a food scale, get back in there. I'm going to see how much weight we save. 2.3 ounces. Okay. So... It's not that much, but 2.3 ounces. Now imagine taking at least six of these out in the field. Most of the time you'll take two per day. So if I'm out for five days, that's 10 MREs. Multiply that 2.2 ounces times 10. You've got well over a pound right then and there, okay? So real quickly, when you get going, I'll show you how quick it should, should be. When you figure out what you want in these mills, it won't even take you that long to do it. Minute, minute and a half, probably about a minute and a half. So a lot of times when you get out and you start prepping, the first thing your mind says is, you know what, this is a lot of crap to prepare for. I just don't have time for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and carry all this weight you're going to get halfway through it and you're going to shortchange yourself. And then a couple miles into it, you're going to be wishing that you had taken the time and not procrastinated. So again, realistically, if I want, I don't even need to take that and tape it down. Okay. And save some tape, save a little bit of time. spoon in there make you a tab without cutting half of your finger off There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and God bless.